everybody. Thank you again for joining us in this episode of Cybersecurity Insights. And uh, I've had the opportunity to interview a number of great guests in the past, but I got to tell you, this one is something I am really looking forward to because this person I've had a friendship with for many years. Um, he has, I've learned a lot from him about how to build a company from scratch and to move fast. Um, and he's obviously now also his company and him a household celebrity. It's the CEO of, of, of Zoom, my good friend, Eric Yuan. Eric, thank you for being with us and joining us on uh, Cybersecurity Insights. Sanjay, thank you for having me. You're my good friend. You're also my, our business advisor. You're also my mentor. I really appreciate it for all your support and help and advice. Thank you for having me. Eric, you're very kind, but I got to tell you, as much as I love to help you if I can in any way, I'm learning so much from you and your company about how you respond, uh, you know, both to the good that you're having humanity and also the way you've responded recently to the crisis. We'll get into that later. But let me start with the tremendous impact. I mean, you are having as a household name. I mean, Zoom is becoming like a verb. I mean, people call, call it like to Zoom, let's go. I mean, that's amazing. Uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, how you've gone from zero to hundreds of millions of users and the impact you're having on humanity even prior to this crisis. Yeah, so prior to this crisis, look at our peak day usage, you know, back to December last year, is it was around 10 million daily meeting participant. It's not like users, right? Daily meeting participant. And during this pandemic crisis, starting from other countries, almost a lot of a company, you know, they had to send an employee back at home. And when that happens, guess what? Every employee, they need to have a way to engage with others, with customers, with the partners, they have to figure out a way to do that. And then they test all the tools and uh, quite often they pick up Zoom. That's why I look at usage, it's very healthy. And we send all of our employees back at home to work since early March. Look at our own usage, it's just crazy. And I normally probably have four or five meetings you know, when I worked in the office. Guess what, two weeks ago, I counted one day. I had 19 Zoom meetings. 19? 19. 19, yes. I'm, I'm each of them were roughly meeting. how long? It's the whole day, actually, from 7.30 all the way to the 9.30 in the p.m. So One of the things that I've admired about you, Eric, is you also are incredibly customer focused. I mean, I would get text messages or emails from you asking me if I knew a CIO I could connect you with. Obviously, you've got a board that's well connected to, but the way in which you've been able to stay responsive to customers, you built that into the fabric of, of Zoom. Why is that customer intimacy so important to your success? So it boils down to our company, the culture, to deliver happiness. For me as a CEO, my number one job is to make sure all of our employees are happy. If our employees are happy, guess what? They, they are going to do all they can to make sure customer happy. If a customer happy, it's very likely they are going to keep using our service, share the feedback with us, they are going to pay for the service. We can survive. I think we do all we can. The number one goal is to make sure customer happy. Otherwise, no matter, what, no matter what we do, you know, the business may not be sustainable. That's why, you know, got to, you know, from my side, from all the engineers, all the product managers, everyone, we got to look at everything from customer perspectives, especially for software service, you know, how to quickly respond to customer requests is very, very important. Thank you for the impact you're having uh, on the world in a positive way in humanity. But, you know, part of that comes also with some responsibility. And you've had to respond in the face of crisis to security issues. And the way you've responded to that has been amazing. You know, quickness, taking ownership. Tell us a little bit about how you have owned that security and what you're doing in the, in the areas of security. Yeah, so yeah, maybe let me, please let me take a step back to share with you a little bit about what had happened because Zoom was built to serve the business enterprise customers. So quite often we work together with the enterprise IT team and we have all kinds of security features built in. You know, IT team, they are going to enable this feature or this, or those kind of other features, and then we have an official onboarding process. That's how we, you know, uh, run our business. And however, you know, during this pandemic crisis, we have so many first-time users, including the K-12 schools. I think we should have done a better job, meaning not only do we offer a service, but also we should play a role of IT. So meaning we should give them a package in you know, a very simple, easy template. I think we did not do a good job, right? Quite often they, they're meeting no password and no meeting room enabled and some, you know, Zoom, 
you know, hackers, especially a lot of teenagers, right? That's one. Another you know, thing is we have a global distributed meeting center, you know, to, to, to have a best performance. I think we should you know, give a customer some flexibility to customize the data center, right? So make sure, you know, they do not have any security, you know, perception problem, right? So having said of that is we never expect, you know, so many the first time users from all over the world and we did not plan well, but we quickly took actions. That's why we decide, you know, to freeze any new features for 90 days. Double down, triple down, wow. we the focus on. No features for 90 days, just focus yeah. on security. Yes, exactly. That's why I also just acquired a company. This is the day we announced when we acquired Kibis. Essentially, that's our first acquisition. The goal is to help our team to add the true end-to-end -end encryption into our offerings. Got it. And this new acquisition Keybase brings end-to-end -end encryption into the video platform. Yes, yes. Great. That's so good to hear. We use, I, I would say there's two features we use very heavily. We password protect all of our important meetings. I mean, I, it's almost now the default feature when I set up a meeting. And we use waiting rooms very heavily. Uh, I joked about it today with my chief of staff. I like waiting rooms so much that it's like a timeout. If I don't like what people are saying, I could, I, I could not even... I could send them to a waiting room if I don't want them to be there. So we could use it in a creative way and have a little fun with it. And I'm sure there's many other features. We use those two a lot. Uh, and I will tell you, as much as security is important, we have never had an issue with the ease of use and performance. And these are always, I tell people in security, you're trying to balance the accelerator and the brake. The accelerator is ease of use, performance. Brake is what you need to do to stop it. And you are right in that balance. You probably you know, focused a lot on the ease of use and performance. And then, you know, it's really good to see the focus that you put on security. I'd like to switch gears a little bit, Eric, to kind of the collaboration with VMware and Zoom. Obviously, you run some of your infrastructure. You're managing your devices in Workspace ONE. We were a heavy user of Zoom early on. Um, uh, there are many fans of your technology. Some of your board are ex-VMware people. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the collaboration in VMware and Zoom? And what are some of the things that have come out of that collaboration? Yeah, collaboration is awesome because when we back to home to work, the you know, first thing is about you know which within which endpoint, which device we are going to use, how secure it is. You know, like the first question I have, like uh, I back to home to start working every day, and like, how secure my Wi-Fi, right? How secure my network? I think you know we focus on the collaboration service. You have from network layer, from uh, secure uh, with uh, secure endpoint, from device, from workplace. I think they get together. We can, you know, offer a very flexible, very secure, you know, collaboration service. I think that's that's why we are so excited. That's great. We're excited about that too. As as um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, Zoom uses Workspace One internally. We use Zoom uh, ourselves very heavily at VMware for all of our thirty thousand employees. And we began to think of ourselves as customers were asking us, what was the best way to put together the combination of Zoom with our products that would make the experience for the customer delightful. So we we're very honored to work with your chief product officer, your engineering teams, uh, your internal teams. And what we have done is brought a trifecta of VMware solutions, Workspace ONE for endpoint management and virtual desktops, Carbon Black for endpoint security, and VeloCloud for SD-WAN. That trifecta, we're deeply integrating it with, uh, with Zoom so that, for example, you can use Zoom inside a virtual desktop se session we will optimize the network um, you know, speed with, uh, from Velo, with Velo Cloud for Zoom. And of course, you know, use the EDR and all of the security lake to better make uh, Zoom, the Zoom client even better. So that combination, when we can go to a joint customer and say, listen, you can use Zoom and the infrastructure that supports that for network and security, endpoint security, network security is the best, is great. We're super, super excited about it. And, and I hope you are too. Maybe in kind of closing, Eric, um, you know, uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, what type of advice would you have for organizations as they're trying to balance this work from home uh, and at the same time security? Uh, any perspectives as we wrap this up? I said, first of all, you know, got to, especially from an employee perspective, pick up the, the most secure and also the good solution for employees. That's number one. Number two is to work from home is really not that easy. I got to, you know, kind of uh, figure out a way to, you know, uh, uh, schedule some time to stretch yourself. And otherwise, you know, every day you work so hard at home is you probably, you know, you get bored, right? It's kind of how to figure out a way to always, you know, uh, stretch yourself, relax, and at the same time, leverage the tools like Zoom and VMware to engage with uh, others. So that's very important. 
Thank you, Eric. Uh, I really appreciate your time. Uh, you are super busy. I'm sure you may not have 19 meetings today, but maybe you had nine or 10. Uh, I got to tell you, you made my life incredibly more productive. Um, I mean, I used to travel probably 30, 40% of my job. I hope when this crisis is done, and for all of my teams, I run all the customer facing teams. I said, I hope that travel goes down by 50%. And I've not lost any productivity. In fact, I would argue I'm as more productive through Zoom. We are a delightedly happy customer. And I know for all of your um, tens, hundreds of millions of users, many of whom I, I want to say that we are delighted with the impact you're having in humanity. Thank you for your partnership. Uh, look forward to continuing that for many quarters and years to come. Thank you, Sanjay.